Hey guys, welcome back to Island Girls Kitchen and today what I'm making for you is my Jamaican Easter bun. And here are the ingredients that you'll need today. Two teaspoon pumpkin spice, one and a half teaspoon allspice, two teaspoon nutmeg, two teaspoon cinnamon powder, two teaspoon baking powder, and four cups of flour. A pinch of salt to bring out the flavor and a half pound of butter, three eggs, a half cup of milk, two cups of sugar, one bottle Jamaican Dragon Stout, two tablespoon vanilla, two tablespoon browning, and two tablespoon molasses. For all ingredients, I should get two buns, a small and a medium or large. And this should be, this is a three pound, gonna be a three pound bun, and this should be a pound and a half. All right, so this is my one cup of fruits, and I'll leave it separate. So I'll add it in later. So the first step is to work with all my wet ingredients and I weigh the butter to make sure it's a half pound and I'm slicing it just so it can melt easier when I put it on the stove. So I'll add my butter and two cups of sugar. I'll also add my bottle of um, Dragon Stout, but if you can't find Dragon Stout wherever you're living, feel free to use Guinness. I will take a half cup of wine that's been soaking with the fruits, and I'll add another half cup of milk to make this one full cup. So it's a half cup of wine and a half cup of milk. Two tablespoon of molasses. And two tablespoon of brown in. This will stay on the stove on really low heat until the sugar is dissolved and the butter is fully melted. When that is done, I will set it to the side so it can get to room temperature. Then I will add my two tablespoons of vanilla and a splash of almond extract. And I'll also add my three eggs. Now I will move on to my dry ingredients because I'm waiting for my wet ingredients to come to room temperature. And here I'm adding four cups of flour. Two teaspoon cinnamon powder. Two teaspoon nutmeg. Two teaspoon pumpkin spice, one and a half teaspoon allspice, two teaspoon baking powder. and a pinch of salt to taste or to bring out the flavors. Now I will combine all my dry ingredients and let it sit while I'll finish working on my wet ingredients. Time to beat my eggs and you know I always remove the little white calaisa from the eggs because that's what give it that eggy smell. Okay, so at this point, my wet ingredients is cool and it's now at room temperature. So I can safely add the eggs. And then I will 
combine the wet ingredients with the dry but I will do this slowly because I want to avoid having to deal with all the clumps from the flour and also having to mix it for too long because when you mix the batter for too long then the gluten gets stronger and um, you'll have a tough dry bun and I want to avoid that so I want my bun to be nice and moist <coughs> so I'll try to go slowly and go step by step until it's all mixed in. Hey guys, if you don't have time to make this bun and you want to try it, feel free to go over to Etsy.com and you'll find me at Island Girls Kitchen and you can order it online. That's Etsy.com Island Girls Kitchen and I'll leave the link below. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees and um, you'll see I also have a container with water in the oven and this helps to keep the bun moist. To bake for one and a half hour. The smaller bun usually finish faster than an hour and a half. It's probably done within one hour. Um, and then after 13 minutes I will add my garnish my cherry and um, my mixed beans so it can look really festive and nice so this is um, 13 minutes to 13 to 15 minutes into the baking process So the last thing I need to do is to make the glaze for the bun and it's as simple as two ingredients, butter and honey. So I'll, make the, I'll melt these and when the bun is finished baking, after it sit and cool for a little bit, then I will add the glaze onto the bun so it can look nice and shiny and pretty. <music> 